What's up, YouTube? Mike from Mass here. Mass Aquariums, Wednesday night, uh, video night. Decided to do a video tonight. Uh, sorry for the corals not being all bright and poppy like normal. Uh, the light's on during the day, so I just flipped the lights on. I'm about to a big water change on this tank. But I wanted to give you a quick video because... I do all, I watch all these videos, I do all these research, and I talk to all these people who say, you know, you can't run a saltwater tank without a skimmer. Not that you can't, but you shouldn't. Now, I'm here to tell you I have run this tank for almost a year, and my 10 gallon tank, even smaller, for right around a year, and I've never put a skimmer. Um, you can run saltwater tanks, you know, perfectly fine without a skimmer, to a degree. I wouldn't, uh, maybe probably not recommend a giant saltwater tank, uh, but then again, I've never had a giant saltwater tank, so I don't know if I can run that without a skimmer. But, um, for 40 gallons, 10 gallons, 20 gallons, 30 gallons, uh, I don't have a sump on this tank or my 10 gallon and I'm running them just fine with no skimmer. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm running. I have a wave maker, a circulation pump, and a hang on the back filter. That's it. I do a water change every two to three weeks. I don't go crazy. Uh, a lot of people think that with a salt water tank if you don't run a skimmer or have a sump that you have to do a water change every week like crazy 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 not true just like any tank your saltwater tank when you're first starting off will go through its its busy 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 stage where you're gonna get tons of algae you're gonna get a lot of brown algae could get some cyano and you just have to deal with the new tank syndrome and get it in check what's gonna run good for you now let me tell you what is saving me from running a skimmer in my hang on the back right now I run a sponge regular sponge that comes with it I run uh, Chemi, Pure, Chemi Pure Blue. I run uh, Two Little Fishes Foss Guard, which is my GFO. And I run a poly filter pad. Let me show you this poly filter pad. This is what I run right here. Poly filter pad. This thing is uh, works miracles. I've run my tanks without it. And I've seen a huge difference when I have it in there. Did an experiment in my 10 gallon. Took it out. And I watch my green, the green hair algae just, you know, kind of get a little bit out of control. Uh, did a water change, put my poly, poly filter pad back in, boom, done, gone. No green emerald crabs, no turbo snails, no cleanup crew, no nothing to take care of it. It's all about keeping your phosphates down in a saltwater aquarium. Now, I've learned this. Uh, through trial and error, through hard ways, through talking to people that have saltwater tanks, through a ton of internet research. Um, most of the research I've done says you need a sump, you need a phosphate reactor or a protein skimmer. Um, and I'm here to tell you, you do not need all that stuff if you want to start up a saltwater aquarium, especially a, like a nice 40 gallon. Um, I would even say a 55 gallon. So let's say 55 gallons or under, uh, you do not need a sump and you do not need a protein skimmer. You need a uh, GFO in your filter, whether it's a canister or a hang on the back, and you need to run poly filter pads. Uh, that's my secret cure for uh, high phosphates, algae, um, keeping your water crystal clear, keeping it clean. And when I say regular water changes, I've uh, gone, what I do now is I do two and a half, two to two and a half weeks on my 10 gallon, and I do two to three weeks on this 40 gallon, and everything is great, folks. Corals are spreading like crazy. Um, I'm getting some coralline algae on the glass, which I scrape. I don't like the way it looks. Uh, I leave a little bit on the back, but mostly I just scrape it off. Um, and that's it, folks. You do not need to run a protein skimmer on a saltwater tank. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I will answer them the best I can. Uh, like I said, I've been running my two tanks now for almost a year, and they couldn't be running better. 
I couldn't be more happier and I couldn't be more impressed with the results from what I have going. This is basically a low-tech aquarium for saltwater for reef keepers. Uh, I do low-tech, high-tech planter tanks. Uh, now these are low-tech reef tanks and with success. So this is Mike from Mass. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm out.